No, this video is not a clickbait. Using official Meta API, I am going to create the every messenger agent which will work for any account out there. Not just for the test account, any account out there. You can automate your messenger, you can automate your comment for anyone. Not just for the test account, for anyone. This will work for you 24 by 7 with the permanent access token. So hi, my name is Lakshit. I help businesses create an agency to grow using the automation and AI. So let's get started. This video is divided into multiple steps. So for the first step, we are going to create the Meta app. So for that, we'll come to developer.facebook.com. Okay, then sign up and then you'll be seeing my app option over here. Click on my app then click on create app and now give some proper naming over here. Okay, so don't give some FB Facebook because it won't work. You can give kind of FBB or I think it, it, this also won't work. So let's check FBB agent prod and next. So as I told you term like FB are not allowed. So we can do something, some different thing. Okay, but give some kind of a unique name which with you can remember. Then click on next and now in terms of choosing the use case, come to other and click on other and next and now choose the business because we require a business account over here and click on next and now we have a fb agent and then the app contact email we don't require business portfolio right now so we'll click on create app enter the password and now you'll be seeing such a dashboard over here now for the step two we'll be adding the messenger product so for that click on setup inside the messenger and now you'll be seeing this option over here and now we need to configure our webhook over here so for that we'll be requiring a webhook url so for that we'll be going to anytime so inside anytime we are going to build this simple flow over here don't worry if you don't know anytime if you have never heard about anytime don't worry this can be done with any other application out there it could be zapier it could be mac or you can write your own server code for this thing but to make the work easier i'm using the anytime over here okay so for that first thing we'll be requiring is webhook which will give us a url such kind of a url this url will be giving to the facebook so that it confirms that this address this webhook belong to us so that all the messages will receive in this webhook only Okay, so for that thing, we'll copy this uh, URL and how to add this webhook. So come over here, click on plus icon, search for webhook. You'll be getting this node over here, webhook trigger. So we'll be using that and we'll be getting this particular URL. So copy that URL, go to the app over here, paste the URL and for verify token, you can add anything, but make sure that whatever you add over here, for example, I'm, I'm adding Lakshit, the same name should be inside this uh, anytime code where we have this confirm webhook so that we have the same name over here. Why is this important? Because this webhook can be hit by anyone so that we want to make sure that Facebook know this belong to us so that we are giving some unique name which I only know. That is the reason we are going, giving this uh, verify token name over here. Once you have that, we'll go to the anytime, we'll execute the workflow, go to the app and verify and save. So now we'll get the information over here and in the respond to webhook, we are passing the same hub.challenge code which we are getting from the Facebook so that they know that we have received the message over here. And don't forget to change one thing inside the uh, webhook over here. By default, the respond would be immediate. We need to change it to respond to webhook over here. Once that is done, in the app, now we'll be seeing that we have the select product option where we'll be selecting this now now in the app part over here you'll be seeing this part again no need to worry just click on the messenger api setting again and now we'll be seeing our configure webhook has been done if i open this you will be seeing this all option over here so now in the webhook you'll be seeing all this option over here scroll bottom and we are um, mainly interested in the message part over here so just subscribe to this message so that we can receive all the messages so once that is done so we'll close this now we need to generate access token so our step three is to generate the access token so for that we'll click on the connect part now continue as the user and now for which particular page you want to do the automation, select that particular page and now save. And now once that is done, so we need to now click on add subscription. And now we are interested in the message part over here. So we'll click on that and confirm. And now we click on the generate. So it will generate the access token and copy this access token somewhere because it is important in the uh, later part of the video. So copy it. And now let's see what is there inside the access token. So we'll click on this tool part. Inside this tool, we need, uh, we'll click on access token debugger. And now we'll paste this token over here and debug. Now if you see amazing thing over here, that this token never expire. So that you have this token once. So it will remain forever until and unless you don't, don't revoke it. So now once we have this token, so now since we have stored it somewhere safe, now we'll go to the app again. Now we need to start receiving the messages. So for that, what we'll do, we'll go to the anytime. And now we'll inside the webhook. Now we'll go into setting and toggle this on so that we can receive the post method as well. So from the post method, we'll be receiving the message. So now let's, let's go, let's open some of the Facebook account. So this is currently my account and that particular page on which we have done the setup is belong to me. That's the reason I'll receive the message right now. In future, in the later part of the video, I'll show you how, how you can make your app live so that anyone can message you. Okay. So for that, I click on the search part. I'll search for spout out the app, which belongs to me. The page which belongs to me now i'll come to click on the message now i'll write hey before sending it i'll go to the anytime execute the workflow come to the facebook and now send this message if i go to the anytime i should receive the message over here 
as you can see i have received the message and now my ai agent is generating the message and it will reply it over you so we, we can see it has happened over you and we received the hey message and now we, there is an ai agent over you okay which is giving just a normal message in which the prompt we are passing the message which we got from the user and we have the open router gpt5 over you and inside the memory simple memory we have context length of 5 which it means that it will remember last 5 conversation and we have a unique center id for each and every user so that the conversation is unique for the particular uh, uh center once you have that as you can see we are getting the error over here it's because the access token is not updated don't worry i'll be showing you how to do this but as you can see we have a url over here inside the url we have this recipient id so if you can see inside the webhook inside the webhook we'll be receiving this recipient id the recipient id is nothing but my particular uh page id over here recipient id okay so we're using the recipient id over here slash messages now inside the query parameter we're passing the access token so this is the old access token that's the reason we are getting this error so i'll be pasting the new access token so let me paste this new access token and now inside the body part we need to pass the recipient over here now as you can see we are passing recipient id so don't pass your id over here we need to pass the person id from where we got the message so that's the reason as we can see we're passing the center id so inside the webhook, if you see, we are getting the center ID as well. So I have drag and drop this over here. Okay. And now messaging type is response. In the text, we are passing the text, which we got from the AI agent. Once that everything is done, we'll execute this step. So now as you can see, it passed successfully. And if you go to spout out, we can see we have got the particular message. So it means it's working perfectly fine. But now here's the catch. Now, if I send the message from any other account other than mine, it won't receive the message. So now there is one another account from where I'm sending the message. If you can see, I'm passing this message over here. So let me go to the anytime and come over here and execute the workflow. Okay. And now if I send this uh, message over here, you'll be seeing it will not receive the message. As you can see, it won't work because currently my app is in kind of testing mode over here. Okay. That's the reason what we'll be doing now. We'll be going to the app again. Now for the step four, we will make our app live. So we'll go to the app again we'll click over here click on basic now we need to provide the privacy policy url terms and service url user data relation url over here don't worry don't worry i'll be giving you a very good hack over here so go to the chat gpt tell chat gpt to create me privacy policy it will give you amazing privacy policy for your uh, company go to the google docs inside google docs page the privacy policy click on share open anyone with link as a viewer copy their particular link come to the app over here and paste the url in all three parts over you choose the particular category whichever category you want if you want you can add your icon as well and click on save change once that is done on the top you can see it's currently in development mode click toggle it toggle it on it will turn into the live mode once it is live mode now you can receive message from anyone out there and our access token is anyways permanent so now you have made your own facebook messenger app permanently in production mode where you can message anyone where you can automate your dm where you can automate your uh, comment messages everything whatever you want okay so as you can see our app mode is live right now now if i come over here and write hello and now go to the anytime and execute the workflow if i send it now in the anytime it should receive message. so as you can see we received the message over you now if i come over you now the center id would be different earlier if you might have not noted you can go back there and check the center id and this center id is different because these are both the different user all together once you have that now over here i got the message now if you're seeing two messages don't worry i have already set up my one of the automation that's the reason we are seeing two messages okay don't worry about that but the below message is from the automation which we just created so how crazy it is and how fast we can do this thing over here so now for this template and for all the steps which we did as you can see i have made a full fledged documentation over here where you can see all the step which we just followed so for this thing don't worry go to my school community over here go to the classroom Go to the YouTube resource and go to the kind of bottom or somewhere. Just find this name, every messenger, prod access. And you'll be seeing all the steps over here as well as the ending template, which we just saw over here. So tell me, how did you like this video? If you like the video, please press the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.